Hello there, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements and Photoshop Touch. In this video I'll be using Photoshop Touch and I'll be extracting Paige from her white background and putting her onto a more grungy background. Let's see how well we can do. So here we are in Photoshop Touch and I'm going to go and grab a selection tool and my selection tool of choice in Photoshop Touch is this one here. It's called the Scribble Selection Tool, although I don't do much scribbling with it. Let's select that and the first thing I've got to do is tell Photoshop Touch which areas I want to keep and indeed that is the default when you first come onto this tool. What I'm going to do is draw a green line around where I want to keep. So you can see I'm not being too careful. I might go back around and then round her body there and that'll do me. Then I click on remove and tell Photoshop which area I want it to remove. And again I'm not being overly careful but I'm trying to get reasonably close. So Photoshop now has made a selection where it's found the edges between the green and the red lines. Now there was no green and red lines underneath her arms here so let's go and put some remove in there. So I'm just going to draw a little bit in there. That was a little bit of a scribble and uh, draw a little scribble in there and sure enough Photoshop goes off and does its thing. Now that's a pretty good selection but it's not perfect. Let's see if we can refine that and indeed underneath the icon that looks like a dotted box with a cog on it at the top here we can see refine edge. This looks like quick mask in Photoshop and it works very very similarly indeed. So let's uh, just bring a brush up there. Now we can use the refine edge and just paint a little bit in there where I want it to refine the edge. And off it goes, works its magic. It's not bad at all. Now on the right hand side here on Paige's left shoulder on our right you can see it's missed a little bit so I'm going to go over that in the direction that the hair is going I found works better here and sure enough it goes and makes a new selection and there's a little bit there and we can just refine it just a little bit in around there and on the other side of our head too we can just follow the hairline there. Good. Let's click the tick and it's going to refine that selection for me. There we go. And now I can extract her by clicking on the pencil at the top here and clicking extract. And sure enough, there we are. Let's deselect that. Deselect and we can see how well we've done. I'm going to zoom in using an outward pinch motion. It's not too bad at all. It's not perfect it's not too bad. If I was putting this on Facebook or something like that where it's going to be low res I might finish there. But let's refine this just a little bit more. I'm going to bring this up. Let's bring it up to around about 100% if we can. Here we go. There we are. Move it down a little bit. Let's duplicate this layer. I'm going to click on the plus here and duplicate that layer. Click done. That already helped a little bit to darken up those edges. So maybe one more. It's not done a lot more, has it? A tiny bit perhaps. But on this layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect. Underneath the photo you'll see that there's a sleepy hollow effect and it kind of darkens around the outside. So let's click on that and sure enough it's added a nice dark bit around the outside. I can adjust this and I'll bring it somewhere around the middle for this particular image and click OK. Now that's a bit too dark. If I click that on and off it's a bit too dark, although it's still a nice effect. So I can go and get my eraser. There's no masks unfortunately in Photoshop Touch. Get a nice reasonably sized brush. You see I can feather it nicely as well with the hardness. I want it quite soft in fact. And now I'm going to go and delete everything on this layer that I don't want to be affected by the sleepy hollow effect. There will be some more underneath here of course. I can go around just touching on the outside but just keeping enough that it blends it in and that's going to be a little bit better. So that was before the Sleepy Hollow, this is after. I need to get rid of that bit there really. So we've increased the contrast in that hair there and made it stand out a bit more. Now just to finish that off, let's reduce the opacity of that just a little bit. It's a bit dark for my taste. So there we are. 
and that's extracting a person, including wavy hair, using Photoshop Touch. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again here next time. Bye-bye for now.